I like the simplicity of some of them. Or, you know, you could just do that. Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka. Today, we're going to be playing some more The Crew 2. We only have a little bit of time left with the beta, so I'm going to try and get as much as I can your way, and uh, maybe we'll continue it when she's finally released. If you would like to see that, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here, or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's just get into some drifting. I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. So welcome back to the house. There was some music playing, which I don't remember playing in any of the other ones. So good thing I caught that. That could have been bad, but here we go. We got our boat. We got our car. We got our plane in the other room. I went ahead, did a little messing around off camera, spent a couple grand on this here livery made by the community. It's a pretty nice one. The teeth are a little messed up in the front, but other than that, it looks pretty good. I like it. And look at this. We have an elevator now. Our good old friend who talks to us through our Bluetooth. It's the only explanation I have. He uh, got our, our elevator working. So I guess now we can go down to the garage. And have more vehicles. Look at that. Ford Mustang Fastback. Why is that there? Why do, I, why do I have a sign telling me what my own vehicle is? I think these are the only three vehicles we even have right now. But when we have more, we could, we could soup it up however we want. We could put whatever vehicles I assume we want to put there. And there seems to be a hangar and something else that we will probably unlock later on. I don't really see what else you can do here. I think that might be it. It might just be a little bit of a showroom. Which is, which is all right, I guess. We got the hangar, we got the harbor, obviously not released yet. But let's, um, let's do what everybody's been waiting for. I mean, at least I have. What is this? This looks new. Was there an update for this game? I'm confused. I'm going here, because there's something special we need to buy. We just unlocked it in the last one. And this needs to happen. Oh, drift car, oh, drift car. Wherefore art thou, drift car? So we actually have 238,000, thanks to my little bit of playing off camera. You know, don't mind me. But what do we get is the question. We got the 370Z, which is very nice. The, the one thing is, is I could spend a good amount of money, get like the 370Z non-Nismo edition. Boo, I know, non-Nismo. But that's like most of our money. You see, I could go with this and like be less than half of our money. Or I could go with the Shelby, but I don't think the Shelby makes a good drift car. I think the RX-7 makes a wonderful drift car. And uh, I think I might even keep it in yellow. The black rims look really nice. Those rims aren't bad. Let's go with the black rims, though. This thing looks good. Looks pretty good as is. Now, we'll, we'll definitely take a look at this one. See what kind of customizations we could do. I've been cheap on it before. But now we have two new drift activities. One of which is there and one of which is there. They just popped up just like that. So one is really close to us. We could even drive there. Get a feeling for our car. So let's set the waypoint and head on out. Ooh, listen to that rotary. Oh, it's just got a special kind of sound. It's almost like a damn motorcycle. Like a pocket rocket. Oh, God. Crotch rocket. That's what I meant to say. Just got distracted by the fact that I was missing my turn. That's my excuse. So this one is pretty easy to drift. Not too bad. I didn't get a good look at the handling on it. I remember the uh, non-Nismo 370 I drove in one of the previous playthroughs, and I did not like the handling on it at all. This one feels pretty good though. The drifting in this game is weird. It's easy to not spin out and not, you know, overdo it, but it's, it's not that easy to read your speed and it's not that easy to make it look clean and realistic. See, that was, that was not very good. 
Oh, those things are just filled with air. We had a little bit of a debate before if it was water or concrete. And now we know. But I can definitely see myself having fun just cruising the streets in this thing. I'm not even having to hit the brakes. Just literally slides out under its own power like all the time. Now that could get annoying, but that's why this is a drift specific vehicle. This is a nice bridge too, I like this. Oh, missed my turn. It's alright, I'll just go through this on-ramp. I'm curious as to what this feels like. Oh, in first person. How does the drifting feel? That wasn't a very good example, that was more of just a handbrake 180. Alright, I like that. It feels pretty good. Oh, I was supposed to turn. I like this thing. I'm a fan. This makes me want to get an RX-7. Why don't they make cars like this anymore? They don't make them like they used to, Sonny Jims! Alright, here we are. We gotta beat... I don't know what we have to beat. I'm confused. The world record is really high, though. For charity. Get ourselves some good buzz for a change. It can't hurt, you know what I'm saying? Are you, are you trying to get under the influence? You shouldn't be driving like that. You want to make a splash? There's better ways to do it. Yeah, belly flops, cannonballs, all kinds of different ways. Oh, boy. I forgot this was a drift car for a split moment. Oh, not good, not good. Oh, probably shouldn't be doing my first drift competition inside the vehicle like this. Just adding a whole new level of difficulty. At least here I can see what my my butt's doing. Oh God, my butt's almost hitting. Pretty sure the world record was like 450,000 or something, which I have no idea how the hell you do that. I assume it is beta. There's probably some people that are managing to cheat at this game. If I had a hunch, but hey, if you actually got 450,000 just by being a drift king, kudos to you, man. Kudos to you. I am not that good at drifting, especially not in this game. But there's only one way to get better. And that is just keep sliding. And hoping that you don't run into the wall and ruin your combo. Oh. Light posts ruin combos? Bullshit. It's a breakable item. Oh, God. Hey, I got 82,000. That's not bad. That's better than I thought I would get. I've already done the objective. Oh. That's the first time I've ever managed to slide out with the drifting in this game. It's possible. Who would have thought? Oh, just a tap. All right, well, I definitely beat 10,000. And at the end of the day, that's, that was the goal. And we're almost famous. Oh, hey, a purple. Oh, purple suspension for the drift. Ooh, yes. Yes. People think we're dangerous. That we're criminals because we run in the streets. <laughs> well, well they are true. right. Oh. We're about more than that. We love what we do and we want to take it to the next level. To go legit. Change isn't easy, but sometimes it's needed. The trick? Getting everyone on board with that. It's about the future, see? Just a question of which one we're headed for. I believe the trick is to give them an offer they just can't refuse. Although I don't know how you're ever going to convince someone that street racing is a good idea. Just, hey, chill, let us just drive around on the public roads. Traffic everywhere. Just let us, look. We're not criminals. We just want to, we just want to put everyone else in danger. <laughs> this is a fun course though. 
I mean, it's over and I'm still here. Trying it in reverse. Oh! There are also race courses and stuff like that in this game. Like, besides these ones. Let me see if I could find one. There was one, like... I'm not sure where it was. But, like, out in the desert especially. Here, look. Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Right here. Legitimate racetrack. Here's another one. Golden Hills Racetrack. So, you know, we could check some of those out if you guys are interested. But today is a drifting kind of day. And I believe the other drift race is right here. So let's uh, let's travel there, but not enter it just yet. Wow, that was... It, it still it's blows me away. And I really don't lose it. How does the power go from 255 horsepower to 492? And I only gain one mile per hour. Something's broken there for sure. What makes my braking worse? It doesn't visibly... Has epic part has two has two what has two what to affix something oh increase loot drop by three percent and increase radar range to detect live reward by three point eight percent so these parts have special little things on them that can uh, give you extra bonuses I guess just like that what is this. Is this a rear? Is this someone's hubcap? What is that? Oh, it's one of the lids of these things, I think. That's what it is. Alright, let's do some more drifting. I forgot about the NOS. I don't know if that helps you much in drifting or what. Oh, I got lots of time. I ain't worried about a thing. Cruise up in style. Go. So you gotta, oh, make sure you don't hit the wall. Because that's where you ruin your combo. And the combo is key to high point rounds. It's not even necessarily about clean drifts. See, I spoiled my combo there by not transferring into another drift sooner. But it's not necessarily about clean looking drifts. If you have to, just slam that e-brake and avoid that damn wall at all costs. Oh boy. And make sure you power out. Jeremy Clarkson knows best. Make it look so power. Easy. It's cause it is easy. Just kidding, it's not that easy. It's probably not the easiest thing in the world. But I've drifted my fair share of video game cars! Okay. That was my fault. That was definitely... That was my bad. Was this another 10,000 point one? And I got 65 already? You just can't steer too much. If you try and counter steer like instinct would tell you, you're gonna whip the car around because it's arcadey. So you gotta just kind of leave the wheels straight as you're going sideways and just, just keep going. Obviously there's some situations where you need to counter steer to try and elongate your drift a little bit. But for the most part, you just kind of want to feather, feather central on the wheel. And just keep whipping it. 145,000. I still don't understand how people get like 400 plus thousand. I don't know if anybody did on this one. I could check the leaderboards, but I don't want to embarrass myself. You can really whip the thing around if you just tap the brake. That's how you 180 right there. Easy. Okay, maybe not there. So where am I? Is this one of those racetracks? Or no, no, this is just the airport. We're just, we're just drifting around the airport. No big deal. Miami airport. It's my home. Whoa! Where did these people come from? Can I drift with them? Are these people real? Are they legit? 
I feel like they are. I feel like I should have got the 370, but I would have. I would rather get the Nismo 370 anyways. So, sorry, sorry. I hope I'm not ruining this guy's race behind me. But I want in on these tandies. Sorry. Sorry. I'm definitely ruining <laughs> ruining someone's fun right now. Just trying to keep up with the leader here. Those other guys were just too slow. This is fun. Where did these guys come from? See, the crew too, as what the title kind of dictates. Oh, this is the Nismo one. You kind of you kind of need a crew to have the most fun you could have in this game for sure. It would definitely make things a little more interesting to have a little bit of a crew to drift with or race or just cruise, whatever you want to do. Oh, almost hit that guy. Oh, he almost went off the track. I'm gonna let these guys go ahead. I'm done ruining your fun, I'm sorry. How do I get out of this place, though? Security? Security? Uh-oh, I think they're coming for me. They're a little angry that I'm interrupting their drift competition. I literally cannot find an exit. I feel like there was a spot up here somewhere where the guy kind of went off the track. Here we go. I'm free. I'm out of the track, but I still can't find my way out of here. This place is a maze. No ing. Excuse me, does anyone know? Okay, thank you. Thanks for pointing me in the right direction. Why is it telling me how to get there by plane? You know what? Let's take advantage of this feature. Wait, not at the tunnel, or not at the bridge. Now! 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 Yes! <laughs> oh wait, there was a radar go towards that oh lost it oh lost it again oh I see it wait hold on let's loop de loop this loop de loop it loop de loop it and car oh god car oh god car car <clears throat> okay let's uh, loop de loop it you know what, while we're upside down, let's just car. Oh god! We're good. It's a purple one. That's gotta be good. How do I make it so that when I switch to a car, I get my other car though? That's what I want to know. We just got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my god, I couldn't even keep track of what just happened there. I think you gotta like toggle it as your favorite or something in order for it to choose that car every time. Alright, let's head home. We'll do some modifications and stuff. Maybe we'll even buy another vehicle. I think we have enough money, potentially enough time, to buy one more vehicle for the day. Oh! Sorry. We are gunning it through LA right now. Look out! Went right into that guy because I thought he was going to pull out in front of me. Wide bodied RX 7 coming through, baby. Careful. This girl's thick. Just a little rubbin'. Rubbin's drifting. That's not the. That's not what they say. Oh God! <laughs> Oh, hi. When I hold my horn, my lights go out. What is this? Now your turn. I don't think he gets how to drive. We might have to explain it to him. Hey. Hey. Okay, bye. Alright, let's uh, switch this out for the Mazda. 
100%. And then I'm going to switch the buggy out for the Mustang. Yeah, I'm going to switch the buggy out for the Mustang. There you go. And um, I'm going to uh, make you my favorite car. There we go. That's how it's done, people. So we can go into customize here. We got some new performance stuff, so let's check that out. Ooh, some blue level brakes and uh, some blue level ECU tuning. We also have new air filter, adding another eight horsepower. Not bad. Still don't think I've gotten a single exhaust in this game. Would love to see if they actually sound different from each other. But that's fine, that's fine. So the handling in this thing is actually expert. So there's actually drift cars that are definitely much easier to handle. But I don't have too much of a problem with it. I think it does just fine. So let's see what we can do modification-wise. Make this thing cool. Because this is definitely going to be one of my top vehicles throughout most of the game. I love a good RX-7. I kind of like how carbon fiber looks. But I kind of just want to keep it without any weird scoopy things, just nice and clean. Although I kind of like those. I wish I could, oh wait, zoom out, okay. Get a little bit of a better look on it. That one's probably the best scooped, but I think we just go with a nice carbon. Yes, please. Bumpers, we got 12 different bumpers. Oh my God, that's so weird. I don't like that. I like the flips. I like the poppies. So essentially there's three different bumpers. We got the stock bumper and then there's three different eye sets or <laughs> headlights. They look like eyes, right? Then you got this bumper with the different eyelids, which is my favorite. Then you got this bumper, the massive splitter, different, different uh, headlights. And then you got this one, which I think looks kind of weird. I don't really like it. It also gets rid of those lower lights, which I kind of like. So I think we're going to go with this one right here. Number four. What is this? Oh, credit things. I don't have those. Now this is really cool. Look at this. Look at this. If you don't like the wide body, that's fine. But at least the tire moves in and out with it. That is so, so amazing. Why is that so challenging? Oh my God. There's some weird rims in this game. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> are some of these rims <laughs> but don't get me wrong there's some nice ones i just liked the the stock ones that came on it i like these a lot caliper color definitely put a little red in there don't know why but it's always red with the calipers and we're not gonna we're not gonna change that now side mirror mm. We'll keep the carbons. Oops, I did not mean to back out there. Skirts, we'll keep the skirts. Rear fender, keep that. Rear wing. If one, yeah, one is what we already have. I like that with a little bit of carbon fiber on it. Keep that motto going. So it looks like there's three or four different bumpers with either the blacked out, the carbon with tinted, it looks like, or... The, I don't even know what to call that, body matching. It's literally like filled in with like body panel instead of whatever that plastic crap is. I like these big exhausts. This one's not bad either. That one's just too much. I do like a single exhaust on a car more than I like the duos most of the time. The single exhaust looks kind of good on this car. I like it. And we could go with some red interior or yellow. Just be way too yellow. Let's go with red. Why not? Now, does that cost money? Oh, and then there's interior style. Oh, okay. You could choose how red you you actually want it to be. Um, I kind of like it with just that little bit of red, to be honest. Let's do that. And then the material doesn't really say what the difference is, but I think that's leather, so we will keep that. And the insert. Oh. Ooh. Ah. The customization in this game. Kudos to this game. I like it. I like the customization. I kind of wish I went with yellow. Now that I know that I could just do a little bit of yellow. But whatever. We'll leave it red. We got that little bit of red in the calipers. So it kind of matches. 
I think this thing is looking pretty cool now. Okay, so they got chromes, mats, iridescence. If you want that color shift, anodized looks pretty cool. Let's just go with a nice metallic. You know what? We're not even going to change it. The yellow that it is is pretty good. Let's take a little peek at the uh, community skins that they've created for this vehicle. There's some decent ones. I like the simple ones like this, you know, when there's just a few little few little stickers on it or whatever. Nothing too dramatic. I mean, I can appreciate all the hard work that goes into some of these skins, but I like the simplicity of some of them. Or, you know, you could just do that. Hey, no, 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 no. Why is... Hey. Hey. I did not pick that. I mean, you know what? We might as well add a couple of stickers here. I haven't fully taken the time to learn how to do this. But uh, there's there's a few stickers that kind of came with the game here. There. That's kind of neat. <laughs> Nifty. I also like when people do the subtle touches... Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because I haven't fully figured out how to how to do some of the stuff that I want to do in this game. Like, for example, it'll only let me adjust the size uniform. But what if I want to just make it wider, not... But yeah, what if I just want to make it wider, not taller or whatever? How do I do that? Well, anyways, I like little touches, you know, and people put, like, little black accents in places and... It looks clean, but it's hard to do, and this thing doesn't cooperate. And I want I want it to look like my car's an emo, and then it cried. That looks okay, I guess. Doesn't look terrible, at least. I could have made it look cooler, and where it doesn't hang over on the lip like that, if I knew how to make it freaking. Does look like a little emo child that cried a little. To keep or not to keep? That is the question. But we're going to keep it for now. It's okay. We don't even see it when, when we're at the f other side. It's going to set us apart, though. You watch. You watch. This thing's going to be in a magazine. <laughs> Make sure you hit that like button. Because if you guys hit the like button for me, Lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take her easy. <laughs>